Hey everybody, um, this is Miss Doak, and we are looking at Module 1, Lesson 4, Dropbox. This is called um, Informal Letter, and basically this is all referring back to Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, okay? So you have to pretend <laughs> that you're the girl from the story, okay? So you're writing this first-person point of view just like you are her, okay? Like, girl, boy, whatever, whoever you are, you're pretending that you are her, okay? Um, so you're not going to refer back to the girl by saying she or her. You're going to say I, me, those type of things, okay? You are the girl from the story, <laughs> okay? Um, and you're writing a letter to Beethoven, um, just describing how his visit affected her, okay? So don't make up something about how it felt to you. Write about, um what you read in the story and how you think she actually felt based on what the story said, okay? All right, so um, now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, <clears throat> so a couple of things that you really want to pay attention to are um, these things on the, on the list right here, one through six, okay? Um, and I'll show you an example letter in just a second. So basically, you want to have appropriate greeting and closing lines, all right? That just means, <clears throat> if you go back to the lesson, I'm just in lesson four, um, appropriate greeting and closing, okay? The greeting would be this, dear whoever, okay, comma, all right? This is something that I'm going to be looking for in grading, okay? Closing is um, warmly and then her name. Okay, um, that is appropriate. Okay, and then looking back at our list, correct um, use of capitalization and punctuation in the for the letter. Okay, so remember, we um, at the beginning of last semester we talked about using Grammarly.com. If you were able to put that on your computer, hopefully it will help you check little things like that. That is not cheating. It is a sixth grade standard to use electronic resources to help you check your writing. So um, please do that. <laughs> um, correct placement of the date. Okay, let's go back to our example. <clears throat> All right, if you click the date at the top, it says, the date appears at the top of the page. Note, the writer includes a comma between the numerical day and year. So the date goes at the top, and you have a comma in between the day and the year. <clears throat> Use appropriate tone and voice. Um, that just means, uh, you know, think about who your audience is. Who are you writing to? And make sure that you're writing um, with the correct words to refer to that person. Um, the correct tone of voice, like is this supposed to be super, super formal? Or, you know, could it be kind of informal? Like what... Um, what do you think? And then number five, appropriate audience and purpose for the informal letter. Okay, that's kind of the same thing. So four and five go together. <laughs> number six, um, local organization of uh, paragraphs and ideas within paragraphs. Okay, so basically you want to think about, um, you know, kind of like one reason per paragraph, one topic per paragraph. So maybe at the beginning, you can kind of tell um, maybe why you're thankful and then um, kind of like, and then why it really meant so much. Okay, so go back to the story. Think about, um, you know, what his visit actually meant to her and what it allowed her to be able to do later on in life. Okay, and that can be something that you could totally put there. Okay, so that's the assignment in general. Um, so let's look at the rubric. All right, so remember, stick to the first point, or the, the first column, okay? That's really where you get your hundred, okay? <laughs> That's where you get full credit, all right? Um, you're wanting to do exemplary, and then you do not want it to do unacceptable, okay? You can look at the unacceptable to see, you know, who gets a zero, but you really want to stick to this first column, okay? This is your goal right here. Um, so basically it says, compose informal letter with correct date, greeting, body, and paragraph, I mean, in closing. Okay, so that is what we just talked about. 
<clears throat> so you can look at the example letter to know how to do that. Um, organization. Present a letter that is clearly organized and contains several strong examples for support. Um, it is easy for the reader to follow the train of thought. So you want to have kind of like how this is showing, um, you know, she is focusing her whole letter on being thankful and explaining like why she's thankful. So it should be easy for the reader to know why you wrote the letter in the first place. <laughs> um, and then purpose topic, present writing that has specific purpose and topic. Yeah, so that's kind of the same thing. Voice and tone, use appropriate um, informal tone for the assignment that has a clear and natural voice. So you just want it to sound like a friendly informal letter pretty much, okay? But obviously written to an adult, not a child. Um, point of view. So this is super important, okay? So you have to act like you are the girl in the story to get credit for this. This is five points, okay? Use first person point of view. That means you are referring to yourself as her, okay? You're saying, I am thankful and it meant so much to me, okay? You're using those pronouns to refer to yourself as though you were her, okay? Um, use correct punctuation um, in the greeting and the closing, all right? So you can obviously look back at the example letter, and you can look here in the lesson, okay? That's kind of where I got the example letter from, okay? Comma, comma, and then, you know, the date. So that stuff really does matter. Um... Successfully establish a sense of closure that aligns with the topic of the letter. All right, yeah. So, at your end, at the end of the letter, you, you know how he's saying. Um, I mean, how she said, um, "Knowing you believed in me gave me the courage to challenge myself and take um, risks." Okay, so close your letter with um, kind of how he actually made a difference okay um and let it actually make sense all right so make sure that it's correct for the story um and then to get full credit you want to have um writing that is free of grammatical um or spelling errors so if you are not sure and you don't have grammarly on your computer maybe get somebody to help you okay don't just type it really fast and turn it in Get someone to look over it for you, whether it's me and you want to email it to me or um, a friend. Maybe some of you have friends that you do school with. You know, you Skype with each other um, or something like that. Uh, or you just have a learning coach with you, okay? Ask your learning coach to just look over it really quick and look for spelling and grammar errors, okay? Um, and that's how you get full credit on this assignment, okay? Okay. Um, and for you new friends, <laughs> this is how um, you turn it in. Okay, let's go back to the to the module. Okay, so module one, lesson four. Okay, um, if you didn't just click on it from your um, overdue assignments or anything like that, you can just go to content, module one, lesson four. And anywhere that you see a little blue box like this, that is a drop box, okay? So you will just click on this, and um, it actually opens up another page, okay? For me, it doesn't let me submit anything, <laughs> but for you, it will let you upload something and then submit it, okay? Um, and that's just how you turn it in, right there in the lesson, okay? Um, if you have any questions about that, uh, you can just ask me. Um, and here are the materials that you can use. The first one is the assignment. That's what we read together. Um, that's the rubric that helps you know how you're graded. And then the example. This is just the same letter from lesson from the lesson that we looked at. I just put it in a Word document um, so you can refer back to it when you're doing your assignment. Okay? Um, I hope that helps, and um, good luck.